Yeah, I, I think it did uh, that last time. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Uh, we're out in uh, our, our uh, special patio. Our patio. Uh, right next to patio the big, uh, air conditioner. With Chef Slade Grove. <laughs> Hi, Chef Slade. Good morning. <laughs> and we're making um, lovely Thanksgiving recipes, but yeah. we're using butternut squash it's all butter in a different way. It's all butternut squash centric, you okay. know, and... Uh, yeah, I got a phone call. Well, actually, an email yesterday about 5 a.m. from you know who. <laughs> like, can you come yeah. tomorrow and make something pumpkin or butternut squashy? I'm like, sure. Well, I so, I, I love butternut squash. I do so too. any way to use it, I do I'm, too. I'm game. And you know, I yesterday, so I ran over to Bash's and they've got organic butternut squash on sale for like 99 cents a pound. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So, and then one pot method. Okay. And I, I don't want to sound like an info commercial, but I literally was able to roast the butternut squash in my ninja cooker. <laughs> I sauteed so the leeks in the ninja cooker. Okay. And then I made the soup in the ninja cooker. Wow. It's so crazy. I never thought it would believe. So, so you don't way. forget, act before so, midnight tonight. Act <laughs> before midnight tonight. I, okay. I literally didn't believe the info commercial, but okay. it is true. Okay. How does it so, start out then? So basically, all you're going to do is roast your butternut squash. Right. Um, and you can either buy it cubed now. Mm -hmm. I found this at Costco. It's organic, pre-cubed, so you don't have to cook, you don't have to um, peel it. it and mess with it too it's much. It's a hard one to peel, or, I will say. Uh, I just use a vegetable peeler. Just I'm, use a vegetable peeler and peel it up. Okay. Then okay. Um, take some leeks. Don't be afraid of leek. It's like an overgrown green onion. You're going to cut the big mm -hmm. portion off because you're not going to use these, or you can save them for a stock. Maybe if you're going to make a vegetable stock or something like that. Then cut the other end off. And then you're gonna cut them in half. Mm -hmm. Lengthwise. Lengthwise. And you're gonna wash these out because these are growing like in sandy material. Yeah. So you yeah. want you want to rinse them out like really well. Okay. Dice them up a little bit, throw them in your um, your saute pan with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and saute them up. Okay. Then you're gonna throw in some spices, you know, and the recipes are on slategrove.com's okay. uh, recipe uh, blog site, and then we got them on the Fox website. Right. Okay. And you're going to do some chicken stock and some brown sugar and then your butternut squash that you've already roasted in the oven. A little oh, half and half. I just half. want you to just smell so And a little half good, and half. Doesn't it? Now. Yeah. Then you're going to take a bowl. Yeah. Okay. That's a square bowl. Is, it, if, is square still called a bowl? <laughs> yeah. Square still called a bowl. <laughs> okay. If we're getting fancy for Thanksgiving here. <laughs> that is so here. cool. Yeah. Love that. Square bowl. Oh, that's then you're going to make some candied bacon. Th no Ooh. way. Come on. Everything's bacon centric. Okay. So pre cook your bacon, but don't cook it till it's brittle. Okay. And take a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and a little bit of uh, black pepper. And you mix oh. that in with the brown sugar, though. Yeah, with the brown sugar. The, yeah, yeah. So you're going sweet then and salty with me. Pop it in the I oven. Like it. For at 375 degrees for about five minutes, then you end up with these Look lovely bacon strips. Oh my! And is that what you top it? And that's oh, what you serve yeah. with. It. How cool is so, that? So you have okay. this and the soup and the bacon. Okay. Okay, here. Now a fun now, twist on this. Now we're gonna do. You can do okay. shooters if you want to, with the sauce. That's just amazing. I double dip. I'm sorry. Oh my! And then use the bacon as a stir I in the shot glass. Too. How good is that? Look at that. Yeah. Okay. This is love. This is excellent. This is delicious. I never would have thought this would have been this good. What are you doing? So I'm not like a squash guy. Now, I don't want to run out of time. Continu for continuing dessert? our butternut squash theme, we can make no baked butternut squash cheesecakes. Okay. okay we Individual serving desserts. We have like 40 seconds, 30 seconds. All you got to do is graham crackers, butternut squash with a little bit of cheese, uh, cream cheese. Okay. That's and it? then cheese creams marshmallow. And like bone. pumpkin pie spice or something? Or and no? just a little bit of nutmeg, cinnamon, and clove. Squirt it in there. And then top it off. Andrea, you're amazing. With a little bit more. Okay. How do you mix it though? Do you just? Oh, how do? Oh, you put it that? in here, right? Put it in the food That's, processor oh, the or, 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 or with Get your the mixer in there, would you? Okay. Uh, Andrea, you amazing. I mean, oh little, yeah, right. A little I bit didn't... of fresh nutmeg right uh, on top. Okay, we're gonna take a break. Look we come that. back. We're gonna even. We're gonna eat this. We're gonna eat this too. Okay. Happy birthday. We'll be right back.